Bye. I'm opening the show. Yay! Woo! 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 Um, so let's get on that. I just want to introduce my commentator, my couch. Um, we have Sprinkle Hello. over here. Uh, Sprinkle Theory, sorry. And I want her to say hi and introduce herself. Hi, I'm Sprinkle Theory. I've uh, ran this game before. I'm packing such an amazing experience. So if you haven't played it or seen it, you're in for a treat. Yeah. All right. So we are going to go jump right into there on the count of three, two, one, go. So the moment it starts is when I clicked on that beautiful little arrow button. So right now we are just going to keep on kind of like going into here. We're unpacking our little, you know, this is just what we're doing. This is unpacking. Um, yes. Basically, we're going to be unpacking all the toys, all the stuff. And the importance of this video game is that this video game is all about just, you know, what it is, unpacking. Um, if you see things and not in the right spot, I am doing that on purpose because honestly, I want to go really fast. <laughs> so if I'm just putting things in like weird spots and you're just like, I don't agree with that. You know what? <laughs> you're probably right. But guess what? <laughs> I want to do it because I think it's just fast. Um, but this speed run is great. I love um, how cozy it is, how easy you can just kind of like get in there and just start like getting into things and then just put them in the right place. And then, um, yeah, essentially, uh, just kind of, you know, as you see, I'm just like telling a story through this person's life. And, um, if you want to explain that further, Sprinkle, that'd be great. Yeah. It's really a great experience. So it's, surprising you know a game about unpacking someone else's items um, can be so cozy but yet so good and so as we go through each map um, and each level they are earmarked by different years and so we're really traveling with this individual throughout their life um, this is 1997 and we can see um, kids room you can make a lot of inferences um, and kind of make the story um, yourself as we go but uh, kids room we have trophy toys um, and that was 1997 so it's very quick um, a great thing about this game um, speed running it specifically is that on speedrun.com you can do individual levels which is great um, I recommend starting with 1997 because it is the shortest level to kind of get your feet wet. Um, and so here we are um, looking at what feels kind of like a college um, dorm room. Uh, and the great thing about these boxes is that each box, the items come out the exact, the exact same item comes out um, each time. So there is kind of a memorization that's helpful with this run and running this game, whether it be the levels or um, the entire uh, game here. And then we can see things matriculate with us as we go through. So um, we just took the pig, the stuffed animal pig um, out of the box. So we still have that with us. Um, and well, something that Rue did that was helpful is um, rebinding keys so that um, she can use the um, directional keys on the keyboard to kind of go through rooms. And as we go through this game, um, there will be additional rooms that we come into contact with. So I am putting things in like the weirdest places. <laughs> it's where the game will allow me to put these in the proper places. Um, yeah, you could like put, you know, your iPod set uh, <laughs> underneath the pillow if you wanted to. Um, Why not, and, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, basically we're kind of just like, you know, just trying to unpack and then put it in the fastest spot that we could possibly do. Um, but the thing that's great about this game is just, it's not about the whole like, it's the storytelling. I think that's kind of what draw me the most to it is most that definitely. the story is just so good. Um, you might get an idea what the story is like here, but essentially, um, do you want to take over the storytelling part, Sprinkle? Sure, yeah. So um, as we noted, the first um, year or map um, location, um, we were a kid, but now we are in college. So we have this uh, monstrous uh, computer, um, we have a file folder for important papers, but we still have our um, stuffed animals, so that pig, cat, um, and we have some figurines here um, that's coming out that uh, may note travels as well. 
One thing I love though um, about some of the mechanics of the game is that um, Rue had clothes, so she stacked them on each other and then they moved them over to the closet um, in the stack, which is great. It's a very helpful um, tool when speed running. I and want the toilet paper to come with me, not it, it. It didn't want to go with you. Yeah, it wanted to just like, nah. <laughs> I want I want to be free. Yeah. And then <laughs> one thing I also enjoy um, is that you can, things can move with you um, through the map. So um, pretty effortlessly. So she could bring the toilet paper with her um, or the toaster um, as we go to the appropriate room. And it's also just interesting, I think, to just see what people have throughout the stages of their life. Yeah. Does everybody have these items in their house? I do not. <laughs> I'm not much of a cook. And as we go along, we'll see that uh, they have a lot of um, items that they used to cook with. And I'm just uh, flabbergasted because um, cannot relate at all. But it's I love that for them. <laughs> And I think there's also some cool things too, right? So um, Rue was able to put the toilet roll, um, stack them on top of the toilet as well as put it on the holder. And then the I love, love, love the towels. The towel draping on the hook. I love a good hook <laughs> for a towel. So um, I just think that the um, animations and just how this game was done is just beautiful. Come on, knife. That's a really big knife. Yeah, it does it not belong there, but hey, you know what? <laughs> We're unpacking. We're trying to go fast here. We don't want to... We are. We just want to get this unpacked. <laughs> One thing that um, is apparent, though, is that there are random things in boxes. So, yes, we're going to have our plates and our salt in a boot in a box. Like, why not? Sometimes when you pack, you just have to pack. <laughs> yeah. You just have to get things in a box and get out. Oh. You do not like it being there. So did did we explain yet about like what's allowed in its space yet? Because uh, what's great about this game is that there's actually different speed run modes because of that reason. Yes. Um, so we, we are allowed to put things in certain spaces. So we we can't just like, oh, okay, well, we need to put it right here because this is where we think it's the best. No, the game wants you to put it in specific spots that's like, okay, yeah, that's totally fine. But... A lot of times, it's just kind of like, no, let's, um, uh, what do you call it? Nah, like, it you need to be right there. It has a preferred place for it to go. And sometimes it's even moving something over just a smidge to uh, make room for another item um, that is supposed to live in that area or should live in that area. Yes, yeah, so we talked a little bit about that you can run this game either all the way through as um, Rue's doing in this any percent run, but you can also do levels. Um, and there's also Dark Star. So as you saw, as we are completing levels, um, there is a gold star that Rue would click um, when the game was feeling good about where we put everything. Um, and then we were ready to move to the next level area um there's also a um black star though and so that is moving things completely where they shouldn't be <laughs> um i have not actually tried that mode yet have you rue uh i'm gonna try it after this yeah yeah definitely <laughs> on my list of things to do um but that mode is also um pretty cool i've seen some runs of it um and if you're not um, interested in speed running this game and want to play casually you should definitely play it casually um you, there's also um, a, um, yeah, I want to talk about that really quick. So um, another cool thing, I think, is that, so Rue had the towel on the floor, right? And um, she tried to open up the cabinet, and it would not open. And I just love that it would not let you do that, and it had a sound that said no. No, you can't do that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so um, in this game, uh, there's accessibility mode um, or option that you can um, play it where you are allowed to put things wherever you want. Um, so if you want to color code all the items in a room, you can do that as well. See, now I can open it. <laughs> yeah, because you now moved the, the towel. Like, Yay. Please be, please just open it correctly. <laughs> yeah, um, and I want to talk about that air freshener can for just a second here. That was in the restroom that uh, of the bathroom that Rue just moved. Um, so there's actually a video on Twitter um, that there was a player and they were moving the can through different surfaces on 
in the bathroom and then also in this bedroom. So they put it on the carpet, on the bed. They put it on top of the uh, medicine cabinet, on top of the um, toilet, and on the floor. And it's actually very interesting because... Um, then the sound designer said, yes, there are over 14,000 sounds in this game. So you can go around and move different items on different um, surfaces and um, have a different sound. And Lana, you can feel free to jump in whenever if you need. Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll cut in really quick. Uh, so we actually have $5 from Midnight Vesper who says... So proud to see my best friend in the Aww. whole world not only speedrun such a chill mm -hmm. and awesome game, but also open the event. Aww. So proud of Rue and Aww. all of the accomplishments this past year. You're going to rock this run. Less Aww. than three. Aww. My heart's melting right now. I'm actually might have a tear enjoy minute moment in a second. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for that donation. That was amazing. Um... I'm glad to be, I feel very honored to be opening up the show with this quirky little game that I love. And I am so glad to have a fun kickoff with this event. Um, very honored and I'm glad that I hope everyone is enjoying this and wants to learn more about speedrunning as well as what Frame is all about. And, um, you know, Flame Patels is just another awesome event and super excited to be here. Yeah. Okay. All these clothes. So we have like a lot of pajamas. Pajamas. Yeah, pajamas. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what we're going to say now. They're pajamas. <laughs> pajamas. Um, pajamas. And um, yeah, what's important though is if you notice like all these items that are being, you know, we're putting them out and stuff like that, the, these, this is what's helping telling the story. And this is what's kind of giving you guidance and how... You know, you're getting, like, the idea of, you know, this particular person's, you know, the main protagonist in their life. And, you know, you're seeing that they got a job. You're seeing the very stages of what they're going through. And basically, at this point in time, like, they went to college. They got a degree. And so now, like, as we travel through each of these years and we exactly. keep on packing, it's just these beautiful moments of our livelihoods that we go through. And I think all of us can kind of relate to that. And that's why I love this game, because it's not yes. just only about the livelihood. It's all about, you know, our important moments yeah. in life that we go through and that, you know, we constantly have. And I think everybody can kind of relate to that. And that's what's like, I think is just like such a beautiful way to translate into such a perfect video game like this. Yes. Um, yeah, but yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yes, no, 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 you're you're fine. No, one hundred percent. I was agreeing with you. Um, it's so cool that we can see throughout the years. I keep bringing up the pig because the pig is one of my favorite items in the game because I love how that we can kind of see um, its trajectory, um, some wear and tear on it um, throughout the years. But um, yeah, you could also see how um, technology <laughs> changes. Uh, great job. Great job, Room. <laughs> <laughs> and also, like, interests, right? So, like, as we go through life, um, we we get interested into different things, um, as well as relationships. Uh, I think <laughs> when the game released, this is probably everyone's uh, favorite level, um, probably the mo one of the most talked about levels, definitely. Um, so, as you can see here, so we've gone kind of from our own place and there's already stuff here. Um, and so we're moving in with someone, a partner, maybe a boyfriend. Um, and one of the things that I feel about this level is that they don't feel they really made room for us. <laughs> um, you know, um, and that becomes apparent as Rue unpacks the boxes and tries to fit everything in. Yeah. Truly a puzzle piece. You can see me, like, shifting things around more than I should be. Yeah. Like, I have to make room for my undies, my socks. Even, like, here's my weights right now. Um, and then, like, you'll see pretty soon. This is the one that kind of, like, strikes me the hardest when I see this happen. Um, you'll see pretty soon. Here, here's some socks. I wonder who, like, 
I know that like we're we're in an apartment and we're living with someone, and so you kind of get that sense of like you know, we're just kind of trying to move in and stuff like that, and this is another stage in life. But mm-hmm. also like notice the colors. There's yeah. a lot more colors if you could see like my clothes are really colorful yeah. versus. His clothes, like, and then this is what I'm so sad about. You yeah. have to put that there. You have to put the degree there. Like, I hate it. You know, this this protagonist worked so hard <laughs> to get that degree, and having to put it on the ground is just under the bed. It's just a slap in the face. I think. Yeah. Like, really, dude, you couldn't make any type of wall space. There you go. Here's all my clothes. I can only fit so much in one space. And like, you can see it in the bathroom too. Like where, where am I gonna put my stuff? Like I have to move toilet paper. There's honestly nowhere. To like (laughs) make me, yeah. Like, come on, where's my, where's me? Oh, well, we don't want that in there, but um, definitely like, where am I gonna put this? Okay, so yeah, it's just kind of unfortunate because like, I love that part of the story, though, that you could see the struggle with just the items alone that you're just kind of like, okay, well, I'm trying to find my spot in here. Like, where do I go? Exactly. Exactly. All right. So I forgot one thing right here needs to go somewhere. There you go. Um, All right. So as we're coming in, so I have to move these things because there's not a lot of room here. Not at all. But, like, even my, like, little, we have a little bamboo thing right there. We want to put that up, make make some room for my cookie. Yes, the cookie jar also follows us. I just really love that you can hook, put things on hooks, and just that animation is just awesome. I kind of want to ask people in chat, what is it that you love from what you're seeing that's me and follow us? There's some very, very, like, predominant items that are definitely just, like, okay, yes, this is part of the storyline, and yes, this is, like... Uh, you know, it's like, do I love the piggy? Do we love the, you know, what what items do you see a lot that consistently will come and follow us? So whichever you like, I just want to see all the responses in chat. I don't have chat up, but I want to <laughs> watch this. <laughs> all right, come here, you. Um, but as you what about your too, favorite item? Oh, go ahead. What about your favorite item? My favorite item? Oh. Uh, okay. A part of me likes the little chicks in the hen, actually. Yes. They're cute. I think they're just super, like, oh, this is, like, super adorable. And the, f- the funny part is, as you see, I don't want to spoil it, so just just watch how many appear. There, there's going to be more. Yes. It, collection grows. Okay. So I love the pig, and I also love the ukulele. Because I want to play ukulele, so, you know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Where am I putting all my stuff? Where do I put it? I'll just, you know, there's books everywhere. Yeah, and I'm it's gonna like just stack them. having to stack your books a mile high just because there's no room for you. Yeah. Like, come on. I just like video games, and I want to be, like, a, a dungeon master, and I want to I wanna do things. But as you can see, you can see, like, all the GameCube games. You see that I have a GameCube. You see that, you know, we have to finish the rest of this kitchen. But, yeah, like, you can see, like, I have a whole life that I want to show. And I want to, you know, I want to share. So that's what this level, I would say, is, like, it's a very, very strong representation of, like, just being able to, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put it there. Uh, basically, just, you know, you kind of see that whole struggle, and that's kind of why I love it. Okay, we got to put you right there. Done. Great job. Great job. Spear fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Love okay. It. So, uh, the speed run. Um, any information about the speed run? Um, there are plenty of people who have speed run this and they do mm-hmm. a fantastic job. Yeah. Uh, there's like the leaderboards are just amazing. Yes. Um, so I would say like, if you're interested in the speed run at all, you know, there's plenty of, um, you know, resources out there and 
um, you know, I, there's a community and they're super sweet and, you know, yeah. the, the game continuously get, continues to get better. Um, and so anyone interested in speed running it, I mean, I, I like to show off because of the fact of this is just a cute game and I think it, oh wait, no, I don't want that one. Sorry. There's a reason why we don't want that one. Um, yeah. there's a reason why that I just love this game and it's such a, such a treasure. Um, and then at the same time, though, I, I want to make sure, like, you know, the speedrunning community, super sweet, um, you know, and there's active runners now, and they're definitely making the times better. It's really impressive of how much has been um, developed. And so, you know, as you see, we're kind of back at home, by mm -hmm. the way. Yep. Yep. So we're I mean, kind of like, you know. And this is actually Sprinkle pointed this out to me, which I... I liked. With our home, uh, you get to see our bathroom that we didn't see before. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, you know, you have to go back home um, and that's okay. So we're single bed, twin bed. So um, our ah. relationship is no more. Um, as Rue had mentioned, uh, there's a picture of the protagonist and boyfriend and we put it away we did not put it up um, and along the lines with the speedrunning community so if you um, join the unpacking um, discord the game there is a speedrunning channel um, and um, it's awesome I really appreciate it and love it when devs support speedrunning yep that tape too so come in. on yep. and join us. Yep. I am putting it there. And you also get the the box e emote for D D Discord, which I love. <laughs> Great job, Rue. Yes. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> hey, Rue, we have a really good donation here if you yes. have a minute. Yes, of course, yes, please. please. Okay, awesome. So we have $200 from Trojan Dude 12 who says... I cannot express in enough words how insanely proud I am of my wonderful wife, Cutie Roo, and all of the work that she has put in to get to this point where she is opening the Flame Fatales event. It's crazy to think that it has been over five years since we met through Ori and the Blind oh Forest goodness. speedrunning, oh and I am so blessed each and every day. I love you so much, and Aww. you're doing an amazing job. Aww, Aww. Trojan, <laughs> don't, so you're gonna make me cry. Uh, oh. Has it really been five years? <laughs> <laughs> That's what went in my head. Oh, those those years. I mean, time flies when you have a lot of fun. Yes, I love that all. Oh, uh, awesome. that melt my heart. Um, thank oh you. Goodness. How can we continue after that? Goodness. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, I think I'm broken now. Um, thank you, Trojan. Um. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so as we can see in this new level, um, we have like a whole, like where are we, Sprinkle? Yeah, we're at a new apartment, um, solo, dolo, uh, it appears, um, and it's a cozy place. It's a cozy place. We have a beanbag chairs, you know, we had to take a step back and move home, but now we're on our own and again, and um, we're trying, we're out here trying. So have our little chickadees. <laughs> I'm curious what everybody is like. Which ones do they like the most? I know. Items that keep like traveling with us. And I also love that um, umbrella holder. <laughs> you can like put the umbrellas and the cane stuff in there. It's like, I just love it. As well as the cup in the bathroom. You can put your toothbrush and stuff in it. It's just a lot of fun. You know what? Can I take back what my favorite item is? Of course. I want to replace it with a chipped cup. Okay. The the chip like yes. heart little cup right yeah. there. Oh yeah, that's that's my favorite. Yeah, and that's some of that wear and tear you see too. Like as you, as we move and go throughout our lives, our things we either trade it out and get new things, or sometimes things break. They get a little torn or whatever the case may be, and that is definitely displayed in this um, game, which is awesome. 
Now, didn't we had this as a game of a month game for Furry and Patel? We did. It was we so much did. Fun. I was very excited. I actually, again, used the Discord emo <laughs> to, uh, when we when it won because I was very excited that people were um, interested in playing this game and trying it out. Is that when you started running it? Or you started a little before then, right? I was running it a little before. Yeah, yeah. I think it was like... Why did I start running this? I'm trying to remember. Here's a good reason why I started this. I think I saw it, and then I was like, this is adorable. And then I'm like, you know what? I want to run it. And then I was on the Hotfix show uh, for... Ah! My underwear, where are you going? Underwear, no, come, <laughs> no, underwear, underwear. There you go. Or maybe those are socks. Um, sorry, I, I had, had a fight with the. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> with the underwear moment. Um, but yeah, so I was socks. on a. I, I think I just. I was like, this is cute. This is me. <laughs> I like it. I vibe. Um, definitely has like all the things that I love. Um, now, do I love unpacking? Yes. Would I unpack this way? No. Uh, if I was to show you my actual game, my casual game through, you would be like, okay. <laughs> you would be like, oh, oh, right. right. Yeah. And I keep on saying, like, if you see my house, and maybe Trojan Dude can attest to this, but uh, I like <laughs> things in a certain place in a certain way. I I'm definitely that. a very organized person. Please come to my house and help me. Or actually, just let's go out of the studio and help me with my car. Like, <laughs> let's be real. <laughs> I, I'm more than happy to do that. I really am. I don't know. Container store is my hobby. Like, legit, I could go in there and, like, be lost forever. And it would be hours. Or, like, Hobby Lobby. Oh, Hobby Lobby is, like, my worst <laughs> nightmare, too. Because I'm just sitting there and I'm like, there's so many cute stuff. So it's many just, things. Yeah. So many things. Um, I have another favorite item, and we talked about this yesterday, and I can't believe I didn't bring it up. Um, so there's a, a um, wax melt warmer, so that orange item that Rue put on the nightstand, and you could put little tea light candles in it, and I just think it's just the cutest thing. Like, it's just the detail, the, um, the sheer amount of detail and thought that went into this. You can really tell that it was a labor of love. Um, I first was exposed to this game when it was, uh, there was a, um, like a Steam demo, it was like, a, like I think last summer, um, time flies, uh, but yeah, and I was like, you know, this looks cute, like, let me try it out, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool, <laughs> and then I had to, like, get it, so. I, you know what, can I make that my new favorite item? Yes. <laughs> I have like lots so of like, many favorite items. All new favorite item requests. Uh, Cause like that, that's the other thing too. As you're noticing, as we're trans like going into like yeah. transported into the different eras, and um, you know as time goes by, we're kind of like, oh hey, um, you know we're we're becoming adults. We have a job. You know we have all those things that come into place. But like if you notice, like some of the childhood items stay with us too. But also yeah. you see new items get introduced into the mix. So you get to see like these whale, you know, like the whale. Uh, what do you call it? Those are like the paper holders. Um, you get to yeah. see those. You get to kind of see our router. We have a router now. Yep. Technology. <laughs> we got router. Yay! Another cool thing that they did was, um, as you may have seen, when Rue would take a picture, um, drawn picture out of the, um, or a photograph out of the box and put it on the cork board, push pins appear. Like, it's just, I just think it's so cool. Come on, Tal. There you go. All right, now we got the kitchen. Yeah. My favorite part is, you know, all these items, but also like, look at these cute little teaspoons. So cute, so cute. I don't know. We know can that's I have five sauce. items that are my favorite? Yeah, you can have a billion items. You can have literally all items could be your favorite. Yes. Um, another great uh, um, game mechanic um, that they um, have in this game is that, as you can see, the um, kind of what looks like a floor plan at the top left is blinking. And that means that, um, there are boxes still left, and um, if you click on the map, it will um, the room will flash on where you still have boxes. So that's really helpful, particularly as we get through the speed run and through the game, um, and the story's told, and we um, have more rooms. I can't put cookie my cookie jar. 
I'm like, where am I gonna put my cookie? <laughs> cookie jar. I love that you have the cookie jar too, too, by the way. Yes. Like now you're a little baker, now yeah, you have I'm new like, hobbies, but you also yeah. have your sweet old cookie jar. Yeah, we could also see Faith um, come through here too uh, with the menorah. So you can really just tell um, so much about this person's life, the things that they like to cook. Um, So oh what goodness. does everybody know what the story is yet? Hmm? Hmm? I'm curious. <laughs> um so as I'm continuing to unpack yeah. and look for the no nooks and crannies of where to place things, what has been the biggest thing that you had disagreed with me putting in the certain spots? I am super curious <laughs> to know because <laughs> There's a lot that I do that I disagree when I'm doing this. I'm just sitting here going, yep, sure, this works. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, I'm short, so I don't put things too high up because it's difficult <laughs> to get it. Um, and I love you can just put the sponge in the sink. Like, it's so natural, right? That's, that's, this is a natural feeling. <laughs> Come here, you plate. Yeah. There's our strainer. Um, in this era too, what's fun is as you kind of get more and more into the game, you get to see more and more, um, not just, oh yeah, that was a fun little glitch. Great job, Brew. Yay! <laughs> oh, I was tearing up. Okay. Um, there was a fun little glitch where if you have the, like, you know, the baking cookie sheets on there, you get to see, like, the, um... Wait, I have books now over here? Why do I have books over here? Yeah, so um, we are moving on to another year. And now we see um, we're still in the same apartment. We now have a couch. No more beanbags. Um, some things are moved around. Um, and there are these new kind of boxes, right? Um, and new stuff. Well, this is the first time we're seeing some of these items. Or all these items, really. <laughs> I really love that pillow set. Me too. <laughs> I actually legit, like, if I could have that in real life, oh, yeah, I would have that pillow set in a heartbeat. All right, so why are these all boxes here? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, so these boxes look more um, like professional movers or like a long distance kind of moving situation. Um, and so someone is moving in with us and it looks like we actually gave them space, so. <laughs> oh, pfft. that went into a funny place. Sure, I agree. All right. So then you notice, like, we have a lot of plants now. We have, like, mm -hmm. more color and more yes. going on. And so it's like, hmm, why do we have makeup all of a sudden? Why yeah. do we have... What's going on here? We have, like, obviously someone's moving on with us, but who? So that kind of gives you, like, a little, like, ooh... What is going on here? Yeah, a peek into a new chapter of their life, right? So kind of as we go through the years, these are every year is a big uh, chapter or a moment within the li in their life. So um, and here we have a partner moving in with us. <laughs> I didn't make room for your two shoe box. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I mean, you know, I need a room for the tissue box. Here you what go. What will I do with my tears? <laughs> there, there you go. Tissue box there. We made room for the tissue box. Yay! Yes. Um, but yeah, so essentially, yes, we do have a partner who's moved in with us. They brought their childhood items, as you could see. Um, definitely could tell that, you know, they are bringing their stuff now. Yeah. When two oh, that becomes is so cute one so to speak our pig is there and now we have uh this uh tiger lion um stuffed animal too i think what's also interesting too um and you can really notice it um as we go through this level is that where rue put a lot of the items um in the past level 
um, are still there. They're still in the same place, which is, I think, very cool. And so it really, um, particularly between um, this, the last the last level and this one, you can really um, feel a, pr a progression. Um, but also, because you're in the same spot, it feels a little more cozy and comfy, I think. <laughs> that you've actually spent some time in this place. Yeah. There's a lot to a unpack. A lot of dresses. I got definitely, all these hangers. Yeah, definitely a different style. There's a lot of hangers. No! Let's close that drawer. Let's open this one. But yeah, so I definitely recommend anyone who wants to learn the speed run, join the channel. Tons of fun. Um, sweet people. We have some incense now. Um, definitely have to say, there you go. My shoes are going into a weird spot. As you can tell, I'm putting them in a weird spot. Uh, we don't want that there. We want this. Go in. Uh, this is too big. It's funny. I sometimes alternate between if I want to hang everything or if I want everything in a drawer. <laughs> yeah. In my life and in this game. <laughs> yeah. That's actually, like, very valid because um, basically at this point in time, um, for me, like, at my own place, when I do my own stuff, um... I know that basically um, I do both. Like I have, I have drawers, I have things that hang, but I have a lot of clothes too. So I don't know. Children can wrap me out on that. Mm. <laughs> or I just wrap my own self out on that <laughs> right now. Uh, I do like clothes. <laughs> I do like clothes. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, um, and another cool thing, as this game is just so cool. Um, so, as you may have noticed, as Rue is placing items, she sometimes has an item um, kind of in the front row, but she's immediately able to put something in the back row, so she doesn't have to move something around just to put something in the back, um, which is so helpful, um, particularly for speedrunning this game, but also just in general. Come on, you. There you go. What do you disagree with? You disagree with this? What? Yeah, and the red outlined items means I don't like this here. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> that was a funny, I disagree with that, but okay. <laughs> I like jump there, so I forgot about that. And at the end of every um, level, as you've seen, the, the picture's taken, which I love, and um, kind of a little note, because um, it's kind of a, a scrapbook, right? And so um, a note about that level is um, noted. This level is, uh, I love this level, but mm -hmm. there's a lot. So what happens is when you're unpacking, most of the items will be in different spots at this point in time. So you start unpacking and you're kind of noticing, um, this is not the one, I want that one. But basically like you'll see as you keep on packing, there'll be like, you know, boxes upon boxes. But what's great about this level is being able to just like just kind of you learn about you know the character and where they're at in their lives yeah um the, par the person that you moved in with is with you yeah um so you're kind of seeing that they just bought a home yeah yeah and uh Ruth's right this level is great for that because you can still see um some of the items that we've had throughout the entire um, time, but also the um, items that were added in the last level. So we've continued on with this person. So now we have an um, our place, a new place for that we both um, want to live. And um, there's also a little something extra too, once we get there. Uh, surprise! Yeah, so Should I make that surprise. the last room? Oh, you can, whatever feels good. <laughs> 
I, I think it's such a, a cute little story. I hope everyone is enjoying this. I'm glad that this has been such a, like a fun way to start the event. Um, definitely hyped for the Stardew Valley. Stardew. Yeah. I'm wearing my uh, Stardew AGDQ shirt uh, <laughs> for good Stardew vibes. <laughs> For Blackheart Ring, Wings and Valiant Sun. I'm super excited. Do you want to talk about Stardew Valley a little bit? Stardew's awesome. <laughs> um, you all will are in for a treat. Um, just this whole event. But um, Stardew is definitely near and dear to my heart. So I'm really excited uh, for the runs coming up. Definitely. So stay tuned. Super excited. This is my last level. So Yes, yeah, the last level. The, the last level, we'll time. have this, and then next we're going to have some fun Stardew, and then, yeah. Rue would now be, be good of for fun. a donation. Yes. Sorry, Rue. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. Great. yes sorry. <laughs> Sneaking in. Oh, sure. No, no, please, please, please. Absolutely. So we actually have $10 from Supersonic, who says, best of luck, cutie Rue. I've known you for a long time, and you've been doing amazing things. Really cool to see you open an event as well. Keep at it and hope to see you soon. Less than three. Oh, am I just going to like cry all day? Yes. <laughs> yes. I think yes. I, am. <laughs> I think you're amazing. Oh. Oh. Like that's a good thing. It's tears yes. of joys, by the way. Not, yes. not a bad thing. <laughs> and it's going to a great cause. And it's for a great cause, right? So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that just brings so Aww. much joy in my heart. Um, You know what? The pants can go in there. That That's allowed. Uh, this is our bedroom. Our bedroom is yes. not going to be the way you think it's going to supposed to look like. <laughs> There's my wax warmers. If I were to actually place these little chickadees, we're going to have a lot of chickadees pretty soon. Let's count how many chickadees I'm going to unpack. So, so far I have one. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're going to get to the chickadees pretty soon. Um... Uh, thank you, everybody who is do that, that are donating mm -hmm. and everything, and I love you all. Okay, so there's four, five, six, walkie-talkie, um, mom, chiggy. So how many do we have so far? I lost count. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I actually did. I was counting too. How do I lose count? Uh, all right, we'll put that right there. Oh, wait, there's another one. I think, here, I should like put one somewhere else just to be like, he, 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 can you see this chickadee? Okay, um, let me just put you in here because you do not like that. Okay, so, oh, now we have a book. What do I do with this book? All right, come on, lamp, be nice. All right, walkie talkies, go up there. Yeah, and then you, Find a place to go. Okay, there you go. We were having a nice. slight hiccup there. So okay, good. you're doing great. You're I'm doing avoiding great. that room. Avoid the room. Avoid the one room. And go to all the others. <laughs> Let's just speed run the, the levels. <laughs> uh, and just like, you know, I'll just show all the levels real quick. Um, yeah, this place is, this is a, they have, we bought a nice house or, you know, whatever. It's, um, it's really nice. Yeah, it's a nice a lot house. Of space. Yeah, a lot of good space. I wouldn't mind this house. I kind of want to see the backyard. Yeah. The, the backyard is, um, I'm curious about it. So as we can see, we're kind of unpacking, you know, we see that we have certain things. So this office actually tells a lot in the storyline in terms of like what's going to happen for the main character. You see that there's an award. You see that there's all these little books right here. I wonder what these books all are about. Hmm. 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 Ta -da. There's a little event poster. Yeah, it's awesome. And you can, I mean, I think it's just so cool too that you can see um, their achievements as well um, as you go through the years. It really is a beautiful way of telling a story and, and getting a peek into someone's life. Okay, there you go. Oh, ukulele, where? No, you're important. 
Okay, there you are. All right, let's uh, let's get this. I like the lava lamping with yes, us too. Yes, and I love that you can turn it on too. Okay, there's that, and then we have this. Put that over there. So basically, at this point in time, as we're trying to unpack the rest of the house, you can see we have like a little dining room area, and then you know we have we have game nights here. Yeah, so many games. Another thing that's really cool We've come is a long way. you know we have our little family picture. Yes. We have glasses. You know, one thing I've always thought was interesting, though, um, there's always, like, coasters. And I'm like, <laughs> um, I, like, have coasters, um, but I'm really bad at using them. So, Did anyone see that? They have a lot of cute. Yeah, coasters. they do. So I definitely love the, um, what do you call it? I'm wondering if anyone saw what I just put up. Because I haven't shown that room yet. I, I'm kind of hoping that everybody's excited to see the, the room. I'm purposely going Secret to wait room. until it's the last one. Secret room. Okay. I just love it. You just, like, place all the place matches on top of each other. <laughs> I know. You know. I'm like, no. No. Ha -ha. This is mine. Right. Just, you know, I don't have time to put the placemats in the right spot. Right. <laughs> I have to I have to keep going. Gotta keep going. Gotta go I gotta fast. unpack. Gotta unpack fast. Um but yes, I um definitely if anyone has any interest in the speed run, um there is an active community. You could definitely go on to um there is speedrun.com mm -hmm. and you could go there. Um, I know me and Sprinkle are there, um, and a few other, but also we have a community in Frame Fatales that's also done the speed run too, and, um, sorry, I was wondering if this is all magnets, and for some reason I went the tube for that reason. No, you're fine, you're um, fine, you're doing great. Um, <laughs> as, like we said, this is the last level, so, uh, really take in uh, this amazing, amazing game as we go through. And finish unpacking. Yes. The forever home. My forever home. Yay. Why not? Why we, why why don't we just go here? This one um, takes a good amount of time because yes, <laughs> we have like all the DVDs. We have the video games. We have, we have a lot to unpack. We do have a lot but to unpack. But you could see that... Like, you know how that one level you saw, like, everything that was just, like, in the way and you kind of had to move? And here you're just, you know, you get to coexist together. Yeah, it's really nice, um, particularly when people can get their own spot and, and make it their own. And that's really what this level represents, particularly as they um, live their life together. Uh, there you go. Random paperweight. Why are you there? Uh, come here, you. Okay, so. Cool. But I hope everyone's, ah, come here, you. Um, I hope everyone is enjoying this. I'm having a ton of fun. Yeah, you're doing great. Um, I have a bathroom. Look at that, I got a gas bathroom, boom. Yeah, half bath, 1.5 baths. I think we should all have potpourri in our guest bathroom. Uh, <laughs> not because of the obvious reason. I just, <laughs> it looks so nice. It Question mark, nice. why did I say it like that? Oh no, that came out the, such the wrong way. Um, what I meant by that, it looks nice. Okay, it's really nice. Uh, it even looks, but also too with the succulents too, it's like just really nice to have. <laughs> yeah. Not because it smells beautiful. <laughs> uh, I, I don't... Okay. I'm just going to hang up these green little things and be awkward for a second. You're fine. You're <laughs> great. Uh, hey, put potpourri. I actually like potpourri, too. Um, I have it in my guest bedroom. In my bathroom, though. 
I think I have it in my bathroom. I'm just realizing. What do I have in my bathroom? Um, my guest bathroom. Uh, there's something there. But I don't know what it is. Um, I, I, there's definitely something in the guest bathroom. I'm not sure what it is, though. Oh, my gosh, you're so funny. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to put things in this place while That's I'm so funny. wondering about my guest bathroom for a second. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to. I'm just gonna do that. Um, oh yeah, this microwave is such a bulky item, by the way. Yeah, we really um, fill this kitchen to the core. But I've, from as we've gone on throughout the years, it does seem that both kind of cook and are really into food, uh, making food. So it makes sense. Yeah, we have. Uh, so our kitchen. <laughs> It's big, but we have a lot of stuff. So I have to find like magical places for all these things. Um, oh, come here, you. Soy Where sauce. are you going? You don't no, want to go sauce, there, but you want to go there. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. Um, so in the speed run for like the top tier levels, you do want to make sure that you're... Um, you memorize where the things go, basically. So, like, oh, you bulky item, you. Um, how dare you be so bulky? <laughs> All right, come here, you. There you go. So, her. like, in the top tier speed runs, um, you do need to know, like, where, which items are in which box, what items to open up in that certain order. Um, you definitely need to know certain items need to be placed in a certain direction. Um, otherwise, the game's like, no. It How dare angry. you? Like the red that you saw earlier, that's what you'll see. You'll see more of that. Um, you'll also see, like, um, what do you call it? Um, like, so, like, not everything has to be facing, like, you know, you don't have to face it to you. But, you know, like I said earlier, the game allows it to be in a certain spot. And so you want to open it in a certain order. Um, and so if you look at, like, the top tier runs, you'll notice, like, that the definite unpacking style that um, they're doing, they're doing it in a specific way and in a specific order for a specific reason. Um, so that's kind of like what's, you know, you could just play this casually too. Like that's what I do. You could just sit there and have fun and play and go at your own level, go at your own pace. Um, do we have the important room? The important room! Surprise! Surprise! <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to have a little baby. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? I love the little baby birds. Aww. Yeah, and um, it's really beautiful, though, right? To see the path and the journey. And we now have a kid, either adopted or whatever the case may be. I love this. Yeah, so we do have a baby, mm -hmm. and the baby's going to be coming. And we're just going to set up the baby room because, you know, we, we're we excited to have our little one. And then, as you can see, we have our favorite characters from the book that we, we made. Um, and, you know, we have an event, and you saw all those cute little things. Um, you know, it, it, we made a children's book, and... Now we can share it with our little babies, our beavers. It's perfect. Yeah. And honestly, the soundtrack to this game too, I know you mentioned earlier the, the all the sounds, but the soundtrack to this game is solid. So like, good. Very, very good. Um, I recommend just listening to the soundtrack, even like Spotify or wherever, like just listening device that you listen to. Um, you could definitely hear the game, um, and definitely just, you know, just put it on repeat. I've actually listened to this soundtrack on repeat just to kind of help so with, um, you know, like with work or different things like that. You can like definitely just sit back, relax, listen to it. Very bit chill, very vibe. Um, come here, you soap. And everything like that. So, but yeah, we're getting towards the end. Um, 
So as soon as a gold star appears, that's when it's time. So if time is missed, it's totally understandable. Um, it's an easy thing to miss just because that gold star disappears. So I'll do my best when it gets close to that and we are going to finish that. Um, we want the bathroom. But I think I'm gonna make sure if I have any reds just in case too. But if it just happens, it happens. Um, so at this point, I'm just trying to pack the last room and just get things going. Um, no, why did you close the laundry? I don't want that closed. <laughs> I don't want that closed. How dare you? It has a mind of its own. <laughs> yeah, I was like, nope. <laughs> um, okay, let's close the drawers. I wonder how many times when I've opened drawers and I just left it there, if like everybody wanted to close the drawers just to close it, because I want to close it. I know I do. Um, I am a, yeah. a drawer opener. Oh, say that again? I'm a drawer opener. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you just want it open to like... <laughs> Yes. Because I just want it open. Okay. Yeah. It's funny. I, um, we have the exact, like, completely different <laughs> styles <laughs> when it comes to that. Yeah. I wonder how many um, ways that when somebody, just even in real life, when you're yeah. unpacking in real life. Um, okay, yeah, there was a red. And it was in the kitchen. How dare you... How dare you? I feel like when I play, the kitchen is always like a place where I get paused. Boom, done. Time. You did it! That's time. Great job, Ru. Oh, that's time. Woo! Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know where I'm at in the time. Wait, did I get... Is that a... I don't know if I got a PB. I'm Ooh. looking at the screen. <laughs> I'm not sure, but... That's really close to my PB. But either way, even if it's a PB or not, yay! Right. Congratulations. Woo! That's unpacking. Such and a great game. Thank you, you two. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I you. love the. <laughs> Let's all do the hands. Um, but yeah, definitely appreciate. I'm just going to just do a quick little uh, thank you for the everybody who donated support. Um, everything, just everyone. I just want to accomplish everything. Um, just thank you everyone. I'm going to try to get on to the next one because I know we need to get set up for that. But I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Sprinkles, so much. Thank and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, sorry, I'm like all thank yous. I'm just going to be a thank you bug. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for having me. Thank you for me to open this show and enjoy the song while it's here. Uh, there is a Discord. Sign up for the Discord. It's on speedrun.com. I'm also going to share Fran Patel's on the Discord for unpacking for anyone who's interested in joining the all-women speedrunning. Um, thank you all again.